Hello everybody, welcome to another update on the stock screener. So last time we bought Freeport McMoran because I thought that the copper price would be going up and it has gone up. So we see that we went from 10.86 dollars per share to 10.9 dollars per share. So it's a little bit of profit but not a lot. But I wanted to talk about another interesting pick. So let's sell our Freeport McMoran shares. We have 200 shares. Sell. Okay, it's now closed. And we are still up 160%. So let's talk about a new company here. And this is really a diamond. So we are talking about Caledonia Mining. So this is a gold mine uh, in Zimbabwe, which is a very high risk country. But I believe in the fundamentals here. And as you can see here, the production for this year is 55,000 ounces. And you can see also that next year they will increase it by around 40%. So this will increase the revenue a lot. That's the first thing that we need to know. Also, when you look at the amount of resources, we have around 2 million ounces of gold, so that's more than enough uh, to have a mine life of around more than 10 years. And that's very important. Uh, it says here 14 years, apparently, so enough resources. And also very important, this is a gold company with a dividend yield of more than 2%, which is one of the highest dividends in the sector. So let's take a look at the revenues. I'm not going to take this, I'm going to take the latest earnings from March. And as you can see here, operating profit for the quarter was almost 13 million dollars. And let's compare this with the numbers here on the presentation. So what they said here is that the operating profit for 2020 would be 30 million for the entire year. And now we already have 13 million. So if, if you do this uh, times four, then we will have 50 million. Okay. This times four is 50 million. And this said 30 million, so we are actually already somewhere here with the operating profit. While the capital expenditure is going down. So this is the capital expenditure. And it will be going down in the next year. Look at this also. This is the uh, this is the gold price that they used for the estimate here. And it's 1,200 and we are already at almost 1,800. So that's why this, these numbers are not correct anymore. And this is much higher. So if this is 50 million, then minus 10, it would mean we have around 40 million free cash flow this year. So let's look at the market cap. So the market cap is 170 million. 
So that means we are at a PE ratio of around 4, which is a very cheap. So this means that you have a profit uh, growth of 25% per year. So if everything stays the same, this stock will go up 25% per year higher. That's already something. But that's not all of it because next year we will have 40% more production and less capex. So that means that the 50 million here will probably go to 70 million. Right? So 70 million minus the 10 is 60 million. So we have 60 million free cash flow. So that means that we have around PE ratio of 3. So we go from 4 to 3. And that's with a gold price that is constant at 1,800. If the gold price goes higher, then this will probably go to a PE ratio of 2 maybe. So these are incredible gains that we are going to see in the next year. So this will probably go much higher. Now, so let's talk about what they are doing. So they have been building for years. Look at all this capital that has been used here in the last years. They have been building the underground mine. And that is now uh, finished because we're now in 2020 and the capex is going down. So what they have been doing is build this central shaft here. And they are still going to develop these horizontal uh, corridors. And this is the upper mine. And they are now going to try to uh, drill and uh, mine the underground. You can see here, these are the inferred and indicated resources. The proven and probable are these things here. What's very important to know here is that these indicated and inferred resources are very high in grade. You can see that here. Inferred resources are 4.5 grams per ton much higher than the uh, measured and indicated resource at 3.7 gram per ton. So you are seeing here a mine that is going to increase its production and its grades and decrease its capex in a rising gold price environment, which is now already undervalued at a PE of 4. So this is really a very good stock. You can also see that they are increasing their dividend uh, now already at 2.2 percent. It will probably go to 4 percent in a few years. And even more important, look at how many reserves and resources they have. They are still increasing their reserves and resources so uh, yeah, this is uh, this has all the positives of a good gold mine. Let's see, can you say anything more about this? Well, I know Zimbabwe is a very high risk country. They have hyperinflation, as you know. So that could be one of the risks. But we can only hope that that uh, the government will be stable here. And let's buy it. So we are going to buy around 130 shares of this. Let's 
CMCL. by 130 and we have bought it and I'll see you in the next video